Hi, I'm Mark Jacobson with an MGM Minute for the week of August 26th, 2019, coming to you from Taft Sports Bar inside MGM Grand on the Las Vegas Strip. Here's what's happening across MGM Resorts International. MGM Springfield in Western Massachusetts celebrated its first anniversary over the weekend, complete with community and employee events and a performance by Aerosmith. Since opening last summer, MGM Springfield has helped with the revitalization of the downtown area by bringing thousands of jobs to the community. MGM Springfield has contributed more than $780,000 to area nonprofits, while also assisting with funding for the Head Start Daycare facility in downtown Springfield and the expansion of the Culinary Institute at Holyoke Community College. Uh, it's so excited to be standing here in front of MGM Springfield on our one year anniversary. Uh, can't thank our employees enough for helping to bring this to life. Uh, it's been a year now and uh, the community has embraced us. 40% uh, of our employees are Springfield residents. Here's another big milestone to tell you about. MGM's Gold Strike Casino Resort in Tunica, Mississippi celebrates its 25th anniversary this week. Gold Strike first opened as Circus Circus Tunica back in August of 1994. It joined the MGM family in 2005. Since then, more than $175 million has been invested in property enhancements. Gold Strike currently has more than 1,200 employees, 15 of whom have worked there since year one. Over the years, Gold Strike team members have chosen to spend thousands of hours giving back to the Mid-South community. In what has become a time-honored tradition, Gold Strike employees spend Martin Luther King Jr. Day volunteering at the National Civil Rights Museum in Memphis, Tennessee. We're proud of the economic impact we've had on the community here in Tunica. We're also proud to be the Mid-South's premier gaming destination by providing a great guest experience and some good old Southern hospitality. We appreciate all the guests that visited us over the years and we're excited for what the future holds. Back in Las Vegas, the 7th Annual MGM Resorts Veterans and Family Career Fair is set for Tuesday, September 3rd from 9 until 2. It's happening inside the Mandalay Bay Convention Center's Oceanside Ballroom C. Anyone who served in the military as well as their family members are welcome. Parking will be validated for all attendees. On-site hiring managers will be interviewing for a variety of positions for corporate, IT and tech, food and beverage, hotel operations, and the security and surveillance departments. Anyone interested in applying online can do so in advance. Just head over to mgmresorts.com backslash careers for more information. Last year, hiring managers made close to 100 job offers based on this event. More than 2,000 military veterans are currently working at MGM Resorts. On to sports. Las Vegas Aces all-star forward Asia Wilson has received the July WNBA Cares Community Assist Award. Wilson was honored for her work in the Las Vegas community, focusing on education for children and supporting families who have children with dyslexia. In recognition of her efforts, the WNBA and State Farm donated $5,000 to benefit the Asia Wilson Foundation. The foundation aims to empower children and families to reach their full potential with educational programming, workshops, camps, and grant opportunities. I didn't really expect it, uh, but honestly, this is just something great. This is definitely something that's going to be always in my heart because the community is very important to me. I know it probably sounds cliche, but it really is because I wouldn't be who I am and the player that I am if I didn't have, you know, the support and group. So I got to return the favor in my community. And finally, it's a big week for harness racing at MGM's Empire City Casino in Yonkers Raceway in Yonkers, New York. The 65th Yonkers Trot is scheduled for Saturday night, August 31st, with a purse of $500,000. The race is the second jewel of the Trotting Triple Crown. Last year's Yonkers Trot was won by New York bred Six Pack, who recently matched the track's age-age speed record. That same night, the 64th Messenger Stakes takes place. The event, also worth $500,000, is the second jewel of the pacing Triple Crown. A nice note, the raceway's horsemen and staff have made several visits to the Food Bank of Westchester, now known as Feeding Westchester, to help assemble meals for those in need throughout the county. And for more information about any of these events and happenings, feel free to contact us at media at mgmresorts.com. Have a great week.